Well, welcome back to the garage. Today we are working on this Ford Taurus. It's a piece of crap. I just had nothing but freaking problems out of it. And I just woke up. So I may look a little tired. And my dog is upset. But today we're going to put on this harmonic balancer. Holy. It's been a pain in my butt. That one just got in from Reversville in Illinois. So, uh, let me show you the old harmonic balancer. There is the old one. Well, we've had our battles with it. There it is. Basically what's happened here is I've actually welded a bolt, grade 8 bolt to it and drilled and tapped the shaft and unfortunately it spun off. I would have thought it would have worked, but it didn't. It snapped right off. First time what I did is actually I drilled out and uh, welded, plug welded. Oh, that didn't work. So then I ground the surface clean again, drilled again, drilled into the shaft, and then welded again. That didn't work. That's and then this was the third and final attempt. Was basically I drilled through into here, and I probably drilled about two inches into this. And then I had to drill through what was my weld into this, into this. Once I got back to new clean material in this, and then I, you know, tapped the rest of those threads. So, didn't work. So now that leaves us with this. If you get it online or you go to the store, this is the replacement for that very different looking hopefully this will work so because I'm like all out of options here it's killing me just kind of looking at it now makes me wonder if it is going to work so, who knows crap I think the belt's off so I laid it out here on the 2x4 it's going to be kicked up just a little bit because yeah, it's been welded but this bracket was actually touching my floor and I was like, oh no, the this might be different. The shaft might be different. No, it looks pretty darn close. So yeah. Let's get this thing installed in the car. Now this is reverse threads. So when I gotta slide this on there, like so, it'll be ugh. It's so easy doing something with a camera in your hand. So when you go to put this darn thing on, hello. There we go. It's actually reverse threads. Like wit. And the cradle is dropped right now. Here's the back bolt, here's the front with the mount. So I'm just going to give this thing a little tighten, tighten because the engine's going to rotate and actually make it tighter and we'll be fine. So I'll just hand tighten that and we should be good to go. So yeah. And then spinny spinny. We've got power steering. The water pump's working and uh, the alternator. So let me find a tool and then we'll get this thing put back together and get her started up and I'll get her shipped out. That is the plan for today. Because I've had this car way too long. It's time for it to go. Do you hear that? Yeah, that is me draining the coolant back out of this stupid Ford. So many things I dislike about Ford, especially on this model. One, I particularly don't care for this 24 valve V6 engine. And, but we do have our belt up in there. 
And the other thing I don't care for is if you can see it is that steel line right there because it's dripping right here. And this steel line is just the biggest piece of junk. Now what you can do here with this steel line is what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to pull the I pulled the bottom shield off and now I'm getting ready to pull the hoses from over there down and pull this hose down and out and then I'm going to put a flex line hose in there because that will fix it but with this Ford it's like well I'm going to give you one problem then I'm going to give you another one I'm going to give you another problem and another problem man this thing just does not want to leave but you know it is what it is and when I get the hose repair done I'll share that with you too so it's just never ending with this car but it is a machine it can be fixed so not gonna fret over it too much other than it's really starting to tick me off but oh it is what it is I'll get back with you guys here in about the next clip so yeah okay there is the stupid pipe right there uh, instead of doing a whole bunch of crap taking down some hoses and stuff that I really don't need to take down I just went ahead and cut it with a sawzall uh, the leak on it is somewhere down here, but you can tell that, that pipe is pretty rusty. And when you put your hand over the end of the pipe and you blow in this, you can hear air leak. So that was how I removed it. And now I'll just go in there and go up to the parts store and get a flex line hose and uh, fish her on in there because this is just junk. They last for many, many moons, but come on. Coolant and thin steel like this, even though I think it's galvanized, but whatever. <sighs> it is what it is. Well, I already put the covers back up and everything, but I think maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to see the flex line hose in there. It goes up and around and in. Really easy repair. And a lot cheaper than going to your dealership and buying, I think it's like a $250 hose or it's $150, something like that. Hell, I don't remember. And if anybody wanted to know, the hose that I got is inch and a half ID and it was 27 and a half inches long and there's the part number. But yeah, there we go. All back together. Um, if nobody knows what I was doing with this vehicle, I actually pulled the engine out to replace the transmission because I didn't want to mess with the cradle. But now... With everything set and done, we can get in here, crank this beast up, and our drive belts are working. We got a little slight hesitation in the motor. Of course, it's been sitting here since April. Today is June. 20th I think so she's gonna have a little bit of a moisture build up put her in gear so yep put the tire on it we'll top off the transmission and ship this one out so there you go, there's another video for you, so like always, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, the video is what it is, and I'll catch you all on the flip side, so later on.